Welcome to Trace, the best way for you to visualize how real-time options flows are driving the S&P 500. Trace takes in all options trades on the SPX, then applies Spot Gamma's proprietary algorithms to create easy-to-interpret charts and heat maps. Now, let's break down how to apply Trace to your trading in this quick start tutorial. At its core, Trace provides you with two key indicators, the strike plot, in the heat map. Starting with the strike plot on the left, there are three ways to see options positions. GEX, OI, and NET OI. Blue GEX bars reveal where dealer positioning can result in buying pressure, and red GEX bars show you where dealer hedging can lead to selling pressure. To see more detail, hover your cursor over an individual bar to display the high and low for the day along with other key metrics. Lastly, you can gain additional context by toggling the zero DTE GEX lens. Next, let's turn to the heat map. Trace empowers you by displaying the options impact across three unique lenses. Lenses, gamma, delta pressure, and charm pressure. The best way to start using the heat map is with the gamma lens. The gamma lens tells you at a glance whether we are in a more stable environment or a more volatile environment. Simply put, blue zones are more stable with higher gamma levels, indicating you can expect less price movement. On the other hand, red zones with lower gamma levels results in higher volatility and less stable prices. Gamma can change throughout the day, so we suggest checking the market environment with the gamma lens at least once per hour. Next, we recommend turning to delta pressure. Delta pressure is the best way to visualize current buying and selling pressure. The blue zones on the delta pressure chart show you areas where buyers are likely to enter the market. When below the current S&P price, blue zones indicate supportive areas. When blue zones are above the current price, these zones highlight areas where price can gain upward momentum. On the other hand, red zones show where sellers are likely to enter the market. When above the current S&P price, the red zones indicate resistance. And when red zones are below below the current price, these areas highlight the likelihood for a downward momentum. Additionally, the largest areas of buying or selling pressure are easily identified by denser contour lines and darker colors. Lastly, charm pressure is most impacted by the passage of time. So watching charm into the end of the day can shed light on where the market is likely to close. The red nodes indicate negative price pressure, while blue nodes show positive price pressure. The market often settles in between darker red and blue zones. Often these larger nodes can be visualized on the GEX strike plot, confirming areas where the market may close. And that wraps up our quick start guide to trace. We invite you to take 10 minutes and check out our user manual which includes more details about all features within Trace. As you get started using Trace, please let us know your thoughts. We're here to help through multiple live customer webinars each week. Our Discord community room, our support center, and email support at info at spotgamma.com. Lastly, thank you for being a part of our community. We believe Trace can provide your ultimate trading edge and are here with you on your journey.